Now that we've animated the position of our loop trail title here, we're going to animate our map key. Now if you click on your map key, you'll notice that it automatically takes you to the map key layer, and it currently has that particular map um, key selected. And we're going to do a different type of animation this time. Instead of animating the position of this particular symbol, we're going to actually animate the opacity of this symbol. So we have to do things in a slightly different manner. Right click on your layer and choose Create Motion Tween, and you'll see that it converts it to a motion tween layer just like it does with the other symbol. If you look at it currently, um, you'll, you'll notice that the icon on that layer also changes to show you that it's animated, which is really good. Now, I wish that um, we could go to the end and animate this just like we did before, and it would remember things exactly the same, but it doesn't. So we're going to actually um, have to create our keyframes kind of going from the beginning to the end. It doesn't really matter um, whether or not you do it from beginning or end or beginning to the end or the end back to the beginning um, for when you do this, um, as long as you have two different keyframes with different properties. So let's show you the very first thing that we're going to change. If you click on that symbol, go over to Properties panel and look for Color Effect and go to Alpha. We're going to take the Alpha all the way back to zero. You'll see it's made that particular layer invisible. Now go to Frame 10 and then click on that symbol again and take our alpha back up to 100%. You'll see that we now have a small um, dot at the end of that particular layer, which shows that we are now animating the opacity of that layer, which is quite cool. So um, there's another very simple animation we can do. The next thing that we're going to do is animate the position of our hiker. And here's where things get a little bit more interesting. We're going to be applying a special type of um, animation for this hiker, where we move this hiker along a path. However, um, we don't want to do it yet because what we've just animated is just the beginning of our map kind of coming in, and we want it to kind of stop here. So let's actually just view our animation as it stands right now. So I'm going to do File, Save, just to make sure that I save a copy of this. And now let's do Control, Test Movie, which is Control, Enter. So this is what I currently have in my animation. Now you'll notice that it keeps on repeating. And that's kind of um, not going to be a very good thing. So we really need it to stop here. So we're going to get into creating our new layer for our um, code. So I'm going to move over my, my record bar. I'm going to make a new layer. And it's actually going to go above whichever layer you currently have selected. So if you select the, ty the title layer at the top and then click on New, you'll see it creates a, a new layer above. It happens to be called Layer 7. We're going to double click on it and call it Actions. And at frame 10, I want to right click and choose Insert Keyframe. Now you'll notice that this creates a new blank keyframe at frame 10. That means that nothing will happen for code until we get to frame 10. And at frame 10, we're going to insert a very important piece of code. In order to access the code window, we need to go to Window, Actions, and you'll see this comes up with something that says Actions Frame. If yours doesn't say Actions Frame, make sure that you click on that empty keyframe that you created. Now it hid my um, Actions panel, but I can pop that back up. Now we're going to put in the, the right code to stop our movie. It just happens to be Stop, S-T-O-P, and then we use a parenthesis that we open, a parenthesis that we close, and then a semicolon. This is um, action script for stop. You'll notice that it turns blue. And by turning blue, it indicates that we are using a keyword that Flash understands. And so now if we want to test our movie, we can use Control Enter or go up to Control Test Movie. And you'll see that it animates in and stops. Now it's animating very quickly, but we'll change that later on in um, the tutorials. Let's save our work and go on to the next tutorial, and you can close the Swift um, output window for now.